Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So this is a quick response to Sayyid Ammar Nakhshawani who put up a video just a few hours ago and I'd like to get this out um, as fast as possible just to show you how easy it is to deal with these arguments. Now, uh, the reason why my videos are significantly shorter than Sayyid Ammar's, well, it's not because I'm lazy, but it's because I like to focus on the main points only. Unlike him, I don't have a time slot on some sort of international television channel, um, which I forcefully need to fill. So you won't find me wasting time reading a book's ISBN number. Ibn Kuthair, Surah at taghabun to the end of the Quran, volume 10, abridged by a group of scholars under the supervision of Sheikh Safiur Rahman Al-Mubarak Puri. Let us come to which edition was this? The second edition, July 2003. All of you can see this? Second edition, July 2003. Maktab al-Dar al 2003. King Fahad National Library cataloging in publication data. Tafsir, Ibn Qutair, Safi rahman all of it is there. I'm even going to say the ISBN number just in case someone says this is all your Shia stuff. ISBN 9960892719 set. Okay? Why are you reading the ISBN number, Ya Sayyid Ahmad? Why? You ask me excellent, excellent question. Ibn Hazm, he has the muhalla, all of you can see over here. Wa hadith Hudayfa. Fasaqat. Why is it saqat? Lanahu min tariq al walid nujuma. Wahuwa halik wala narahu ya'lamu man wada al hadith. Fainahu kadrawa akhbaran. Akhbaran means what? Means, my dear brothers and sisters, that Ibn Hazm had come across a number of narrations that mention the following list. Let's go back. Fiha, Annahu, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Talha, Sa'ad bin Abi Waqas, Radiyallahu Anhum, Aradu, Qatla al Nabi, Sallallahu Alayhi, Wa Alihi, Wa Sallam takes from him. Why Ibn Hazm you have a problem? Because he lists Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Talha and Sa'ad as those who were involved in trying to assassinate Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. That's why you reject it? So what Sayyid Ammar is doing here is he's trying to focus on the reliability of one narrator, Walid bin Jumayr, who Ibn Hazm clearly has a problem with. But let's concede that Walid is fine and there's no issue with him. Um, do you know how many people are between Ibn Hazm and Al-Walid? Just to give you an idea, there's six people between Ibn Hazm and Imam Muslim, and then an additional three people to get to Ibn Jumayr, who, by the way, isn't even a Sahabi, um, and he only narrates from like the youngest of the companions. So Ibn Hazm's Isnad would look something like this. Now, surely you're asking... Who are these people? Who are all these exes? Well, we got no idea. And Ibn Hazm didn't tell us. So there's no way of knowing who the narrators are. And there's no way of authenticating this report and accepting the ascription to Al-Walid bin Jumayr. And of course, there's the other issue of we don't know who Al-Walid is getting this specific report from. Why does he think that this is an authentic report that he can use? I don't know. No idea. Thank you, Ibn Hazm, for your time. Let me go with another source. In fact, I want to come to this book. All of you could see purification of the heart and soul, the disease and the cure. A complete translation of Ibn Qayyim's classic Dawa. All of you could see, my dear brothers and sisters. Translated by Abdul Ali Hamid. Revised by Dr. Zubair Chowdhury. Let me see where it's published. If there's any more information. Nope, it pretty much stops there. There should be something here at the back. Anyway, to page 63. Look over here. Umar ibn al-Khattab used to ask Hudayfa. I implore you by Allah. Did the messenger of Allah... Blessings and peace of Allah be upon him. Mention my name to you amongst the hypocrites?
He replied, no, but after you I will not vindicate anyone else. I ask you a question. If I wasn't involved in the crime, why would I be worried? You tell me now there's a murder taking place and that they've seen the killers. I'm not going to come to ask someone who was there. By the way, did anyone mention my name? I've got nothing to do with the scene. Of course I wouldn't. Now, first of all, nothing in this report says that Umar is asking Hudayfa if he himself is one of the raiders that tried to kill the Prophet, peace be upon him, at Al-Aqaba. Um, the report merely says, or has Umar asking Hudayfa, did the Prophet, peace be upon him, name me, meaning as a hypocrite. Ammar, you got to be very careful in the words that you ascribe to a report. Now, secondly, the source that you are quoting is al Dawah dawa by Ibn Qayyim, who passes away in the 8th century, after Hijrah. So, there is no Isnad. And, Wallah ya Sayyid Ammar, listen, people look up to you. And the Shias, of course, I mean Shias look up to you, not Sunnis. Shias look up to you. And you have to raise their level by providing at least reports that have chains. Not reports with no chains, like... The previous report, okay? Um, and, like, imagine I did this. Imagine I was quoting some 10th, 11th century Shi'i source with no isnat. However, out of my own generosity, because it's the holy month, I'm going to read to you the hadith that Sayyid Ammar was quoting from a 2nd century source. Yes, 6 centuries before the source that Sayyid Ammar was quoting from. And the book is... Kitab al-Zuhd by Waki' bin Jarrah. And let's open it up. We have, it's Dara bin Hazm. Edited. Oh, let, let me read the ISBN number really quick. Just, just kidding. He said, Umar bin Khattab passed by me. Okay, this is Hudayfa saying. Umar bin Khattab passed by me while I was in the masjid. He said, O oh, Hudayfa, so and so had died. So go attend. Meaning attend his funeral prayer. He then left to leave the masjid, and he turned to me and saw me just sitting there. So he realized and came to me. Meaning he realized that Hudayfa didn't pray because the man is a hypocrite. He said, O oh Hudayfa, I ask you by Allah, am I one of them? Meaning am I one of the hypocrites? He Hudayfa said, by Allah, no, and I will not acquit anyone after you. Hudayfa then said, I then saw Umar's eyes filled with tears. Now, before ending this video, I'd just like you to consider something. This report, which you, Yashi'i, you're not going to accept, but this report is written as a merit for Umar. You can assume it's a fabrication, but you have to admit it's written as a merit for Umar, narrated by Hudayfa in Iraq, most likely after the death of Umar. It's narrated as a merit. You come off reading this report feeling like Omar was a good person, even if you don't believe the report. Of course, if you reject the report, then forget about it. But it's written as a merit. What boggles my mind is someone like Sayyid Ammar would read this report and would think, oh, this is a clear confession by Omar that he tried to kill the Prophet. So those of you who approach reports and read them in such a way, the only thing I got to say to you is, you got to fix your heart. You got to fix your heart. And to the rest of you guys, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.